So hey everyone, welcome back to the another video. And today in this video, we are going to discuss the problem valid parenthesis the lead code easy question. This question has been asked in various companies like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and Flipkart, etc. So let's discuss the problem. We are given a string s containing just the characters. These kind of parentheses we are given. We have to determine if the input string is valid. Input string is valid if open bracket must be closed by same type of bracket. Open bracket must be closed in correct order. And every closed bracket has a corresponding open bracket of the same type. Let's understand the problem. So for example, let's consider some test case like this. This one. So we are given that for this open bracket, there is a closing bracket. That means it's valid. Similarly, if we take this example. Here we can see that for this closing bracket, there is an open bracket. This is also complete pair. This is also complete pair means it is also true. But if we consider this case, this is a, a square bracket, but this is not square bracket. That means it's false. So we have to just check whether the pair is valid or not by considering these three conditions. First condition says that for this square bracket, there should be this square bracket. For this curly bracket, there should be this curly bracket. And for this circle, circular bracket, there should be the circular closing bracket. Similarly, the second condition says, for example, if we have this part, this is not valid. Why? Because this, uh, this part will complete the pair, this part. So this means this is completed. But for this closing bracket, the opening bracket is inside this. Rather, it should be here to close this bracket. That's why this is not valid. Second condition, third condition will be every closed bracket has a corresponding bracket of same time. As you already said, same type of bracket should be there. That's the same case. So now like how can we approach? So whenever such kind of things, like we have to complete the pair, let's say for this bracket, there should be this bracket. For this bracket, there should be this bracket. So whenever such things come, uh, comes into existence, we will see that uh, stack will be the correct data structure we will use. Like how stack will help. So let's understand the approach. After getting the approach, we will get the intuition that how this approach will be valid. And what is the intuition behind this approach? So let's understand the approach. So here is the approach. So we are going to maintain a stack. Let's say here is a stack that I'm maintaining this one. Here is a string that we're going to use. Let's consider a random string, this one this one and let's consider in this there is a curly bracket as well like this 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 right now now whenever this uh opening square bracket come what we what is the task whenever there is an opening bracket like this this or this any of them will come we have to push it in stack just push it in stack for now just understand that like like this opening bracket come push it in stack this opening bracket come, push it in stack. Now when this closing bracket come, so we will keep it outside. Now we will check whether it is completing the pair. Yes. Why? For this circular closing bracket, there is a circular opening bracket of same type. Then that means we can remove it from here because it is valid. Because it is valid, we can remove the circular opening bracket from here. Let's remove the circular opening bracket. Now let's come to the next. This one, this one, uh, this was closing bracket. So we have the curly bracket again. Now opening. So whenever opening something comes, we have to push it in stack. Simple. Now again, closing bracket come. Let's keep it outside. Let's check in the stack whether this curly closing bracket has a corresponding curly opening bracket. Yes, it is there. That means remove it from the stack. Right. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. There is a uh, square bracket. Let's add it here. There is a curly bracket. Let's add it here. Now again, closing bracket come. Let's keep it outside. Let's check whether this closing circular uh, curly bracket has a corresponding curly bracket. Yes, that means remove it from the stack. Let's remove it from the stack. Let's come ahead. Now we have again oh, closing bracket. Let's check. Yes, remove it from the stack. Now again, come here, add it here. So we will check here that yes, it is. Yes, it has a corresponding square bracket. Remove it from the stack. 
no add then we can see stack is empty so if the stack is empty then totally means that this is a valid parenthesis this is the idea let's take other example which is invalid and we will check that how it is invalid let's see let's take this example let's take this short example for now this one and uh, let's take this one right let's take now again go to stack there is empty stack let's start from here take this push it whenever this opening comes let's push it in stack push in stack now again closing come we will say whether there is corresponding closing bracket yes remove it remove it from here now whenever again now we have closing bracket but there is no inside closing bracket what that means that means this is invalid because for this closing bracket for this closing bracket there is no one to open the bracket that means we are going to say that this is invalid parenthesis this is invalid parenthesis so this was the approach that just what we have to do whenever any opening bracket come push it in stack whenever closing bracket come check if it is corresponding opening bracket is there like for this this will be there for this this will be there for this this will be there if this is valid yes if it is not directly return that it is invalid parenthesis now there is one more case that can occur one more case can be let's say take this example now we push it in stack we check yes remove it now we will push it in stack we check remove it now we have opening bracket so at the end there is no one to close it will remain it as it is in stack our for loop will finish when we complete it so our for loop will finish so we will say okay only uh, opening bracket will be left but we can see the stack is not empty so whenever stack is not empty what that means that means it is invalid parenthesis because there is no one to close him that's why this is also invalid so just we have to check the one condition at the end that is stack is empty then it is valid otherwise invalid but if in between the part let's say this there is no one to close this is also an invalid parenthesis so these are the two cases two to three cases that we have to consider while uh, understanding the approach now let's get the intuition that why we use a stack only why don't other data structure like here we can use a vector as well like if in if you go in c++ we push back in vector pop back in vector so we can use similar but stack is also fine there is no problem with that uh, so what is the intuition behind this intuition behind this is that let's say we have this let's take some good example to better understand the intuition that let's say i have taken this now why we are using the stack i will tell you let's say again this comes this closing will come remove it now we can see this opening will remain as it is why why we need to keep this because because when these all pairs are completed at then we need to check that if this closing has a op corresponding opening bracket yes this closing has a corresponding opening bracket but how can we check the past to check the past we need to maintain the stack to check the past we need to maintain the stack why because only that way we will be able to identify for this closing bracket there is a opening bracket previously and in between tasks are done so what we generally do in the valid parenthesis if we have in between let's say this this so this will be completed this will be completed this will be completed so whenever at the end this will be left after completing this so we are able to identify that for this closing there is a corresponding opening bracket so just we have to only check that's why we are using stack that's why for completing the pairs as well and for this pair we need to identify this pair so to maintain the historical past for the parenthesis we need to maintain the stack or vector in the c++ so that is the intuition behind this problem behind this approach now let's understand the time complexity in the space complexity what will be the time complexity the time complexity will be big o of n why because we are just running the for loop and just pushing it stack or removing of trans so that is simple removing from stack or pushing it stack and that simple now what will be the space complexity space complexity will be big of n again why because in the stack how much character we can push at most at most we can push all the characters 
and we have all the characters opening bracket we just push 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 so we have at most n characters only that is space complex will be because of n only so now i think we are clear with the approach intuition and uh, time complex in space complexity so let's jump to the code so let's code up the approach so we are given initially stack of characters sc so what we are going to do we are going to run the for loop for the string so we are going to say that whenever any opening bracket comes let's say this or this or this let's say this right so whenever this comes then that will be pushed into the stack simple but as we've already said, whenever any closing bracket comes, whenever any closing bracket comes, first we need to check that stack should not be empty. If stack is empty, because stack should have something for a corresponding pair. And if it is not, we're going to return the false. Now, if S of I is equal to equal to, let's say this bracket, what we need to check that, that SC dot top should be equal to equal to this, because for this, to close there should be this if it is not what we are going to do if it is not we are going to return the false here similarly else if s of i is equal to equal to this we are going to check that if sc dot top is not equal to this bracket we are going to again return the false similarly we are going to check if s of i is equal to equal to square bracket we need to check that sc dot top should be not be equal to this square bracket. Return false. Now I have written many if conditions, but if you will like minimize this, you can minimize it small lines as well. Just to understand, we have written like this. Now, if it is not, if the all conditions are valid, just simply remove from the stack. Pop out from the stack. That means whatever character, let's say for this, there is here, remove it from the stack because it has completed its work. Because add then what we need, we need that stack should be empty. Now, just add then check if stack is empty or not. If stack is empty, then fine. Otherwise, false, simple. Let's run the code and check whether it's working fine. Yes, let's submit the code. Yes, so it's totally working fine. So this was all about code. So if you like the explanation, Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.